Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 6. And we're going after Wily some more, and of course, there's going to be a, a water stage. <clears throat> Those fans, which surprised me, um, are going to drag you forward, and sometimes we'll push you backwards, so um, be aware. And they do that as soon as they come on the screen. So it becomes... It's easier for me because I know where they're coming, where they're going to show up. Oh, gosh. Why am I jumping so high? I'm barely pressing the button. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I knew it. Oh, well. But, yeah, you can see how uh, crazy those things can be sometimes. Oh, God. Let's get rid of that. Piranha. This gap, you, you, I mean, is made actually much easier from the, the fan being there, so that's a good thing. I can just jump over you. And getting hit by that guy is much better than landing on the spikes, as you might guess. More turrets. These are so spread out that it's not even that big of a deal. That guy is hard to reach, though, so... There we go. This is done. And you do need Rush Jet to get up here. Oh, and there's a teleporter. And um, I just get sent right into the boss rematches. Which is a little different than normal. But whatever. And first up is Yamato Man. Which again, he's weak to the Silver Tomahawk. But try not to use too much of it because um, you'll need it later on so make your shots count and there we go we didn't use too much that's good and as always when you beat a robot master in the uh, rematches it drops a large health and you want to pick them all up ah don't run into me that's my safe corner Get out of my safe corner, plant man. And that other hit was just... That was all on me. Oh, really? Oh, well. Next... Is Nightman. So, Yamato Spear, go! And Nightman is ridiculously easy with the Yamato Spear. Oh, crap. Except I totally just walked into his face. But that's okay. I'm back up to full health. Next. It's Centaur Man. <clears throat> so Night Crush it is. And he's going to teleport right off, the, right off the bat. Oh, poo. Uh, oh crap, that was dumb. Oh crap, that's all right. <laughs> Next is that Windman. So Windman, we didn't actually have his weakness when we fought him. He is weak to the Centaur Flash. And as easy as he was with the Mega Buster, having the Centaur Flash makes him just a little bit easier. I wouldn't even need that health. Next up is... Tomahawk Man. And I'm probably going to take a butt ton of damage because Plant Barrier sucks. That's, I usually hate fighting with shield type weapons because you have to get so close in order for them to to hit. But uh, 
it just makes sh such short work of, of Tomahawk Man that I'm okay with it. All right, Windstorm, here we go. Whoops. Whoops. You'll notice that I didn't mention this before when we were fighting Flame Man, but um, certain pillars tend to be closer together than others. There's always one set of pillars where there's extra space, and you just kind of have to try and figure out uh, where that's going to be. I just realized I haven't shown off uh, Beat yet. I'll probably do that. Uh, hopefully there's a what enemy coming up I can show him off with. I don't remember what comes up after this. But Blizzard Man's all that's left. And he's going down easily. And that'll do it for the boss rush here. And let's go back to the Mega Buster. And that'll do it for this episode of Let's Play Mega Man 6. I'll see you for the next one.